check it. Boy, the trailer's looking good. Can't wait to get that puppy finished and get him out on the trail. Anyway, uh, we're not working on him today. We are in the garage working on the Gladiator. And we are going to be installing. Ka-cha! Look at that. The backbone for the Jeep Gladiator. As some of you know, Gladiator, get out of the sun. Holy cow, that's bright. It's March and it's 70 degrees outside. And just the other day we had a bunch of snow. It's weird. Anyway, uh, a bunch of you already know that there's some changes coming to the Gladiator. It is going to be in the Rhino Rack booth at the Moore Expo, which we are so, so excited about. Uh, can't wait for the more expo, man. It's, it's just, it's awesome. That, that's all there is to it. It's just awesome. Uh, anyway, as you can see, I've already stripped down the, uh, the, the gladiator. I pulled the old Evo bed rack off and, uh, put the Mopar trail rail system on there and I've already installed, uh, installed the Rhino rack recon bed rack uh there's actually some more parts coming uh there's some there's some bars that come in in between here so that'll be uh finished later whenever that stuff comes in but uh anyway uh what we're going to focus on today is the backbone because we also have a roof rack going up there on that dude yeah so super excited. All right. One thing Rhino Rack I think does really well with this kit is they got this full size cardboard template that helps you visualize all the parts that uh, they come in the kit, all the parts, where they go, some of the little tools for placing uh, the parts and drilling a hole, uh, some bushings for drilling and locating the holes and the tools, neat little a little tool there um, so anyway uh, I kind of have it crudely laid out here on my tailgate but this is gonna work just fine so nice book of instructions here to look through uh, so I uh, got some got some caulk and, uh, so anyway let's get into it also, real quick, uh, things you'll need, uh, your Jeep toolkit, tape measure, uh, drill, masking tape. Uh, it'd probably be better if you had a little bit wider. All I've got is one inch, so I'll have to make do. Uh, marker, um, quarter, five, sixteenths, and a half inch drill bits. Roughly 12 inches or so. On both sides. And this is just, just to kind of protect the roof a little bit while you're drilling. And then back here, um, looks like we need about eight inches, and you start from this line right here. So we're just gonna come right there. All right. 
And you're gonna repeat that for the other side. All right. In your Jeep tool kit, you're gonna need to get your ratchet wrench and your T40 socket. Uh, excuse me, T50 socket. So what we're gonna do is take all of these bolts loose. Um, actually, I don't think we have to take all of them loose. I think it's just these corner ones. But what I'm gonna do is take them all loose. I'm also gonna take the front panels out, the freedom panels, because I need to finish the installation of the Hotheads headliner in the back. And you can't really get the panels in here while the roof is installed. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna incorporate that in this installation, but uh, just kind of explain you know, what I'm doing. So we're gonna set up on this side here. Got the other side done. Uh, learned, there was a little bit of a learning curve. Um, just a few things to get, you know, sort of uh, understood the way the directions are written. But I mean, basically this piece has to come back and you use this, this uh, little piece of bent aluminum here to set the distance back okay so that touches there and i think that needs to come up just a little bit and just double check it's supposed to be 6.5 millimeters right there and they give you this handy little tool um, there's an 11 millimeter offset there uh, for the front bracket but so basically that's about where it needs to be yeah right about there so I'm gonna drill those holes first one is a quarter inch pilot hole just a little bit on me. I'm gonna come back here and go ahead and drill this one. Swap out to a 5 16 drill bit. Make them a little bigger. Now I'm gonna vacuum some of this up real quick. All right, so I'm putting the, the backbone vertical pieces in on the passenger side now. And a uh, little tip, there's a washer that goes between this piece 
and the top. And what I did was I just put a little painter's tape right there holding it in place until I can get the bolt started. Now this is between here, between this bracket and the roof and the, the bolts come through from the outside bracket. So here we go. That kind of stood up there in place. That looks like it's lining up pretty good. And then this bracket comes in this way and it just nests together. And we start those bolts down here. up real quick. All right, now there are three bolts that connect these two plates together in the corner. Kind of hard to reach. So I've got I've got a couple of extensions here with an Allen bit in them. doing it this way be careful because it's no man's land I've already learned the lesson the hard way if you drop that Allen's bit it's going down in between the body and the and the back seat and the trim and stuff so it is not coming back in. Looks like we're good on those. Now it's time to move back to the roof. All right, so I'm using some black paintable silicone here. Uh, the instructions actually said to use butyl mastic. And I'm, I'm sure they, they probably want, uh, want it to kind of remain pliable little bit uh, maybe not I don't know but my hardware store didn't have any of that stuff so um, they actually looked it up for me and said that this was deemed to be a suitable alternative whatever that means anyway so I already got the screws in there we're gonna put that through on the inside here real quick and put the nuts on and tighten that up and then we'll be done with this and then we can start on this next one. Rhino rack, uh, this, this kit's really cool because 
Rhino Rack gives you these uh, tools uh, to make the installation easier. Um, this is kind of a spreader bar that just kind of places where this piece goes. You use this underneath the casting and uh, to get an 11 millimeter offset, it gets it placed just right. And uh, so basically we drill these holes here. Lots of fiberglass. Nice. All right, we've got our quarter inch pilot holes drilled. Now we're gonna step up to a half inch bit here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the vacuum and clean this up a little bit. All right, so now we're going to be drilling the pilot holes through the inside of the top. Now I'm going to enlarge the uh, pilot hole on the inside. It says you can go right to the half inch bit. However, um, I'm just gonna step it with this 5 16. Just trying to be careful because there's a roll bar on the inside. Um, I want to hit that with a drill bit. Uh, they, they actually send a a tool that helps with that, but I don't have a half inch drill bit long enough, so I'm just going to wing it here. And that's all there is for drilling. Uh, I hope it works on the inside. Let's give it, a, give it a shot. All right, so this bracket, it just sort of, sort of works, way, works its way up in there. I've already dropped the screws in from the top. I'm just kind of test fitting it right now. I just want to see how close everything is. Looks like it's going to be pretty close, but So my battery's about to die here, but uh, uh, so I wanted to wrap this up real quick. Um, overall, the installation went really good. Uh, I'm super pumped about this. Um, getting, uh, you know, the ability to carry gear up on top is a game changer. But um, so I would say the instructions don't really say anything about removing the freedom panels, but I found that in order to get these screws to align here, especially in these front brackets, right here. Uh, it was easier if I removed the freedom panels. Of course, I already had them off as I explained earlier because I put the, I finished the installation of the hot heads headliner in the rear. Um, but loosening this bolt gave me a little bit of play right here to get everything to align correctly. So um, anyway, I've got some more stuff to put on here. I've got the Pioneer platform to assemble for the roof. Um, 
and got to clean up here but uh anyway just kind of wanted to finish this one out and uh so anyway thanks for watching i appreciate it